This is somewhat a behind the scenes type of video. I'm testing out a hair tool today. Amika actually sent over, I think three tools for me to try out, test out, see if I like them, all that good stuff. The very first thing, if I've never tried their hair tools, I always make sure to say that up front, I've never tested your hair tools out, so you have to give me some time to test it out and see what I think of them. So I'm gonna try it out, see how I like it. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day, see how long the curls or whatever I do with this tool, how long it lasts, how the hair looks, all of that fun stuff. So I actually did, I think one or two videos like this. I was testing out some tools and behind the scenes and you guys really enjoyed it. So let's quickly look at the hair. I washed it yesterday and it's still very fresh. It doesn't doesn't have any other hair products in it. So I really wanna see how it's gonna work with cleaner, fresher hair. And this tool is Amika, like I mentioned. This is their autopilot. One inch or 25 millimeter. And it's a rotating curling iron. All right, I'm gonna unclip it. I'm going to unlock it and we're gonna try this out. I think we have to set it down here. Nope, I don't like this feature. Okay, I think I might just have to use this as a regular curling iron. It's just, it's way too much work in my opinion. I don't know, I don't like that. It's not bad of a curl though. It's not bad at all, honestly. I'm gonna start somewhat at the top and just kind of rotate it down. Stop about a good inch and a half, almost two inches towards the bottom. Yeah, this is not bad at all. Okay, so it's giving me those straighter ends that I actually don't mind at all. So you kind of have to start towards the top and then you very gently rotate it down. And then you can either go all the way to the end of your hair or kind of stop like I am. And it does work better with thicker or larger sections of hair just because the clip is not as tight, which is a good thing. But if you have very fine hair and you don't want to use such big sections, it's not the greatest. It's actually doing a pretty good job at 355. So they do have four heat settings, 320, 355, 390, and 430 Fahrenheit, which is hot. So there's several things that I look out for when I test the tool out on myself, like in the background. So the one thing is, the very first thing is, is it functional? Because I use so many tools, I already have so much experience with tools. I know already how to use this tool because I use similar tools with this, but I'm just thinking, if I've never used this type of tool, would it be easy for me to grasp within a couple of different tries? I think you can, just because it's using the same type of technique. It's a curling iron with the clip. So most of us already used or have used a clip with a curling iron. And I'm just using this little dial right here. All of this moves, this little, from the bottom of this little black part to the very top, just don't touch this. You can also use this, but this is actually quite easy to use this little black dial. It has these little ridges on it, so you can really kind of hold on to it and it just rotates for you. See, it's not bad, but it just keeps sliding down because it's such a thin, it's too small of a section to hold inside. See, it just, it just comes out. So let's quickly see what this looks like. It's already, some of it is falling out, which is totally fine. And then another big thing <laughs> that I also make sure to keep in mind or even write down is how comfortable is this tool? Will I replace most of my curling irons with this? Can I see myself using this Let's say if I use a tool on a weekly or even daily basis, even though I don't use a tool on a daily basis, will I gravitate towards it and say, yes, I would actually use this over my Kristen S, like the curling iron, the one inch. So there's a lot of questions I have that I try to answer as I'm doing my hair. because I wanna make sure I'm testing it out in all the right way. I'm gonna lock it and I'm gonna use it as a regular curling iron and see if I can do my beach waves with this curling iron. Drag it down very easily, rotate it up. This clip is easy to use, but because it's so open, <laughs> it's totally fine. It works great, but you kind of have to be very gentle with it and not, not twist too hard. The hair will fall out. And so far, it's not really leaving any kinks in my hair from the clip and one of the biggest reasons is the clip is not that tight. <laughs> That's a huge thing. 
If you're curling iron and the clip is really tight, it will usually leave some type of little, little indentation, a little crimp in your hair. See, that actually did a really good job. Twist, twist, and then gently slide as I open the clip a little bit. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's see how it's gonna work with very, a lot smaller sections. Get like a nice little mixture of curls here. Pull out. And this is a ceramic barrel. It's quite even, which I really like. All right, let's try the wand just to kind of use it. Not my favorite for the wand. So with this, I would have to open up the clip to get the hair inside. And I don't really like that, honestly. Nope, <laughs> let's just recurl that, honestly. See, that's the one thing. With a very thin section of hair, it just wants to go down and you see, it just comes right out of the barrel. I'm gonna lock it and finish it with the clip just because I don't have that much hair left at the very top. I'm just gonna test it with a thermal camera right now. That's another thing that we really do. <laughs> we wanna check if it's sitting close enough to the desired temperature that I have it set at. Right now it's at 355. So it's not overheating the hair and it's not overheating the curling iron. That's a huge positive. So Andre's saying that the curling iron on the outside is running roughly around 300. So that could be a lot of elements. That could mean the internal temperature is set at 355. By the time it gets to the outside, it's not as hot. But like I said, my hair feels very even heated throughout, which is really good. Sometimes I'm running a curling iron at like a 360 and it literally feels like 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'd rather have it go a little bit, a little bit cooler, but do the job great. So like right now I have no issues with this curling my hair. All right, I think I'm good. Let me do a quick turnaround for you guys before I go in and tussle the hair. I'm going to mix my Pureology dry conditioner and my Living Proof body builder. For the dry conditioner, I'm just gonna apply it to the ends. Let's take a little bit of body builder. All right, so overall, I am actually quite happy with the way my hair turned out. I am able to use my technique that I love using with a curling iron, especially for this hair length. It did a good job. I think it did a really great job. The one thing I do wanna mention for its rotating clip, not my favorite. I don't gravitate towards these type of curling irons in a sense of, I have to twist it myself. I'd rather go for something like a beach waver or just completely just automate it on its own, but if I want something that just turns by itself, I'll just go something for like the beach waver. I do like this clip. It's a little bit tighter towards the top, so you guys saw that I can make smaller sections work, but I had to keep it from like up to here, from like halfway up, I had to keep the section to actually hold it in there. So keeping that in mind, is this curling iron going to replace all of my other curling irons? No, it's not just because even though it's three in one, I only like the one way it works, which is just like the regular curling irons that I have and I can get them for far less of a price. I mean, the packaging is really, really different. It's very Amica, it's very loud, it screams in your face, but I think it works great. The button is very sleek and very minimal in a sense of, 
I didn't have an issue. I wasn't pressing on it. It didn't kept turning off. So I was mostly up here, which is totally fine. I'm happy with that. So this barrel is actually a little bit longer than the Kristen S. You'll be able to get a little bit more hair on your barrel, which is good in my in my book. I think it's great, especially if you have longer hair. The one negative I kind of want to say towards this barrel is it doesn't look that expensive. For $120, I want it to feel a little bit more substantial. And this packaging here, a lot of it doesn't line up. It's a little bit uneven right here. It doesn't line up with this little line right here. So that's kind of throwing me off. The quality of this, it's not $120 quality just for the packaging itself. Like even this plastic part right here, it's already scratched and I can see underneath what color it is. And this is a brand new tool. So those little remarks that I just like behind the scenes of just the quality, the packaging, will some will most people like this? And I think a lot of people will like this packaging, but then a lot of people won't just because it's a little too loud. And a lot of people really like the sleek packaging. Like for me example, I like very sleek, very minimal type of packaging and style. So I don't really get as much joy looking at this, which is totally fine. It's a personal preference, but I do like the barrel a lot. I like that it's longer, it works, and it doesn't clamp your hair, doesn't really rip your hair out, so that's a huge thing. It does have the temperature control settings, very easy to use. And one thing I do really like about this tool is because the clip, it's not so tight, the clip works with you and not against you. So if you really want those effortless beach waves that I just showed you guys here and then before on a different video, it's actually quite easy to accomplish with this tool. It's very easy to use, very easy to handle. The swivel is phenomenal. So keeping that in mind, I really am on I really am enjoying this for the beach waves and I am gonna keep using this to try it over and over again. And I do wanna maybe have Macy or my sister try it for the beach wave method to see how longer hair reacts in this type of tool. Alrighty, it is at the end of the night and I just wanna do a quick a little check-in of the hair. And I just wanna say the hair still looks pretty great. <laughs> like you can see on my left side, I didn't do as good of a job curling the hair in comparison to my right side. On my right side, it's a little bit more definition. There's a little bit more curl towards each section of the hair, towards the length of the hair. That's what I'm trying to say, I guess. But I think it fell out really nicely and it still looks really great. Even though the bottoms, you can see the bottoms fill out a lot more. There's not as much definition left. Yeah, this side did a little better, but again, also fell out a little bit more in comparison to the beach waves with introducing the twists to the hair. But again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> Excuse me. Spending time with me and the curling iron and a little bit behind the scenes of how I tested out what I think about, what I really try to focus on, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.